morning so today is Dahlia day and I have got Joe and Neil helping me well no actually Joe and I are helping Neil so I'm not quite sure how much I'm gonna be able one hour <laughs> how much I'm gonna be able to video today because he'll have us on a frog march we've got an hour apparently to get all the dahlias out I think it might be possible by the end of the day but there are hundreds to do two big trucks here of homemade compost to start us off bit of shop bought compost for the very top we've got pots and all our tubers to start with are here then we've got even more in here music and everyone's got their own pen and labels and a list to write down what we've got Daddy in trouble i didn't bring biros down i've got to do the writing apparently specs on so i can see what i'm doing wish me luck won't you <laughs> <laughs> so I am just running them up into the polytunnel. Neil's cleared this whole side of the polytunnel so we can keep all the dahlias together. We are not going to water them tonight. We're just going to pot them up today, get them ready. We're not even going to tidy up any of the dead stems from last year. We can do that any time. The important thing is just to get them going, but water them tomorrow. It's going to be minus two tonight and they've done so well coming through all that cold weather. So water them tomorrow. There's enough water in the compost to start them off. They'll be fine tonight. And then we can give them a good drowning as soon as the temperatures start to rise. Joe's very kindly checking every single tuber for rot. This one is absolutely fine. Which one is it, Joe, again? Senior's Hope. Oh, I think that's one of my favourites. Now we're getting a little bit excited. I can feel some spots of rain in the air and we are expecting thunderstorms from two o'clock. So we're just taking a very quick break in packing and we've run out and we've deadheaded these dahlias so that the over flower heads don't go all soggy. Also, it takes some weight out of the plant because I have a feeling that when the rain comes, it's gonna come all at once. So I'm also, these dahlias over here are fine. They're completely staked with the Neil's cages. These ones here, not so much. So I'm just gonna, put in a few short canes and a little bit of twine just to protect them from the deluge that I'm sure we're going to get. Then we're going to get thunder and lightning. So exciting. So this is our homemade compost going in. These pots are just literally to start them off and then they'll go into the garden. I might get a few cuttings off of that as well. So now we're just going to add just a little bit of shop bought to the top just in case we've got any weed seed or we will have weed seed in that homemade compost. So what we do is we put a nice layer of shop bought over the top and it will smother out their opportunity to germinate. I am volunteering to take all the pots up to the polytunnel because look at my commute. I get to look at all the lovely flowers. Look at the daffodils in the background. Absolutely fantastic. Spring is definitely here. Well, I'd better get cracking, otherwise I'll be in trouble. Here we go. And you can see that Joe has left the dahlia a little bit proud for me so that I can take those cuttings. I'll be able to push back the compost, get a few cuttings. You can see that we're not trimming off the dead stalks. These are last year's stems. And what we find is actually once the dahlia gets into growth, these tend to just fall away. So to spend ages trimming them up is a bit of a waste of time really. So we'll just leave them and they will just fall away naturally as the plant comes into new growth. So here we've got a dahlia here. It was the last one in. So we actually just overwintered it in its pot in the polytunnel, absolutely fine. But I just wanted to show you. So these are last year's stems. Now it's started to wake up. Can you see, look, they just pull away. There we go. And the shoot is from a different place entirely. So that will be nice and firm. There we go. Tuck that in. I tend to not bother pulling them away too much. They just tend to fall off of their own accord. There we go. See? There. You can see all of the bits here. There's no tuber attached. Nothing's going on. This is just literally last year's stalks. The plant is getting rid of those to focus 
on the new stems. I thought that you might like to see how we're getting on. It's getting very exciting in here. Look at all those dahlias, all that promise. Joe's off with her booty. Neil's up in to help her, she's got so many dahlias. 